elephant's little project. Okay, this is my basic setup and this is the course I'm using. I'm also using SCSS and I, you can see my board here. I only have a class with the name box which helps me with uh, the margins. And so now I'm writing the head and the head copy of the elephant. I need both head and head copy because later I'm going to do the ears and I want the ears to be between um, the head and the head copy. You will see it later in the SCSS. I'm also using I'm also writing the code about the eyebrows. I want a left eyebrow and a um, right eyebrow. Um, and uh, between these eyebrows I will have um, a shadow so now I'm in the SCSS part and I'm going to start with the head I will do a round head in the middle of the box that uh, you saw earlier okay this is the basic color and I will use this color a lot. And also I'm picking um, a little gray, sorry, a gray color uh, for the border. Okay, the head shine is for a shadow. <laughs> I don't think it's a very good name, the head shine, but it is for the shadow. Okay, nice. I think it's it's starting to showing. In the head copy, you will actually uh, see what I mean. In the head shine copy, sorry. Yes, that's it. So now I'm going to do the brows. It would be a circular. Eyebrow, and then I'm going to do again a shadow in the eyebrows, so I will have that uh, circular thing that I want to, and that's why I need the copy. It is very important to use the Zend Index. Uh, if you don't know what is Zend Index, but uh, you know about Photoshop, it will be very easy to understand Zend Index. It is something like uh, the layers in Photoshop. Uh, the greatest the Zendidix is the upper the layer is. Okay, so now I'm writing uh, the HTML part about the eyes. Um, I will need a left and right eye and then the eye shine big and small, it's something like um, the pupil of the eye. Nice, let's do the CSS now. And um, the left and the right part are usually very similar. The only thing that you have to change is the property uh, left and right. So once you do the one, the, the next is much more easier. And again, I prefer um, circular eyes. I think it's better. Oh, and I made a mistake here in the HTML part. My class was didn't have the right name. It's now we're getting closer, and I think I like the result. Okay, this is the shine. The big shine, and we also need to do the small shine. Nice. Alright, and we are going to continue um, with the hair. Sorry, the ears. And uh, that's why I mentioned in the beginning that we need the head and the head copy. Now that we're doing the ears, you will understand why. And 
design to edX parts. The only thing I get to do here is to change left to right. The inner ear is something like uh, the side we talked before. We talked before. Uh, yeah, nice. Okay, and now let's continue with the hair. I actually did only three kinds of hair, and um, yeah. You'll see how I did uh, the hair. I did it with a tool called uh, Clippy, and I will leave the um, description. I will leave in the description box uh, the link for um, this tool I used here. It's a very nice tool to do uh, weird shapes. Not that uh, my hair is that weird, but it was quite easier to do it like this. Ah, uh, yes. Nice, my hair are ready to go. <laughs> and so now I'm going just to change a little bit the ears because I definitely prefer it that way. Yes. Uh, now I'm going to do the nose and some strikes in the nose. Again, I need a nose and nose copy and nose around. And when I write strikes, I mean something like a uh, line, so I don't know why I write it like this. Okay, I got to be careful with his index. Yes, that's my nose. And in the top of my nose, I want to have a little uh, round thing. I think it's cuter that way. So now let's do the lines. The lines again are pretty easy, you just have to move it a little bit more left and top. Sorry, I did it again because I didn't like it uh, that before. But you'll have the code and uh, you can find out yourself how exactly uh, you want the properties to be. And now let's continue with uh, the strikes. Here is the first one and uh, the second one. Just move it a little bit left and top. And yes, yes, I like that. Let's save it. And here is the final project. I hope you like it and thank you very, very much.